Welcome back, my grim beauties. It's me, Sarah Graham. Uh, so today I am going to be doing my first um, movies, monsters, and makeup, where I talk about a horror movie while doing my makeup. Um, if you are into this sort of thing, I suggest you subscribe to my channel. And yeah, let's get started. So I already did my eyebrows because. It would take a very long time and make this video incredible if I were to record um, me doing that. So I just said, you know, I'm just going to do it first. And also I prepped my skin and everything. Put my hair up so it's out of the way. Um, so yeah, so the movie I'm going to be talking about today is Dolly Dearest. Now this movie came out in 1992 and it, and it stars um, Denise Crosby. Now we also know Denise Crosby from Mary Lambert's um, adaptation of Stephen King's um, Pet Cemetery. She plays the mom, Rachel. So in this movie she plays Marilyn, the mom. It also stars Rip Torn as Carl Resnick. He's like an archeologist. Sam Bottom as Elliot, which is the father, and Chris Dimitro as Jimmy, the older brother. And then also, damn it, <laughs> I forgot the daughter's name. Well, I'll have to add that in there because I obviously did not write that down. So I'm gonna get started with my makeup and talk a little bit about the movie and what I thought. Um, it is a doll movie which you know there's there's tons of them there's tons of them but um i feel like a lot of it is like a play on child's play just a little bit different um i'm gonna be grabbing some products while i talk so i'll also link everything down in the description box as best i can um to let you know what i'm putting on and you know if you're curious you can always message me and yeah so as I was saying, it's like a play on child's play, but more in a demonic situation going on. It's not so much like the dog got possessed by a person. It's more like the dog got possessed from an ancient demon, which is pretty cool. Um, I really appreciate how they did this movie. Um, I don't believe there's any CGI. I think it's more, you know, like they actually built the doll and, you know, more like puppeteering probably. Um, kind of like Child's Play, how they did that. Um, so I really appreciate that. It's not the same as like the Annabelle movies um, where it's not really the doll that's possessed. In those movies, it's more like an evil entity controlling the doll so in this one the doll is possessed actually there's a couple of dolls possessed <laughs> um, an archaeologist opened up uh, what he thought was a Maya um, ruins turns out it wasn't it was actually a tribe that existed about 900 years ago called the Sanzia which means um, Satan on earth <laughs> pretty cool um so i guess they worship like in a child kind of god to them or satan child that feasted on blood anyway so the ruin got opened and outlet the evil spirits of the sanzia <laughs> um the ruins were by a factory which is the dolly dearest factory so I guess that's how they got inside the dolls. The story starts with a family relocating from LA to Mexico because the father bought a factory, um, the Dolly Dares factory, uh, to, you know, thinking it's gonna be a really hot business. Like, I guess uh, the realtor somehow forged documents to make it seem like um, it's still up and producing dolls and stuff but when they get there um they find out that no it's a rundown dusty old stinky building um i don't know how they did it back then um maybe through computers or whatnot but he never actually saw the factory he just bought it and 
I guess the realtor sent him like paperwork to show that they were still producing products and all, all this stuff businessy stuff so the father is thinking like you know cool I'm going into like a well uh, well how do you say it? well oiled machine I think um, business but little does he know that it's not operational it's all old dusty dirty um, so I guess I guess he must have money because he didn't seem too upset that you know that guy lied he's just like wow okay I guess I need to order all this stuff and anyways so I get um, they also I, I don't know I'm assuming that a house came with it <laughs> um, so they move into this really big house with his wife um, Marilyn and his two children um, a daughter named Jessica and a son named Jimmy so they're kind of all you know I want to say they're upset about the move but they're kind of bummed you know um, I understand how that is like leaving all your friends and family and moving somewhere else because we recently relocated to Indiana a little over two years ago but um, you know you adapt I, I really love living here now so doesn't mean I does I don't miss my friends and family it's just you know I, I think it was for the best but with the house comes a housekeeper which is pretty cool because the house is huge but I mean they only got two kids how dirty can that house be but hey whatever it's a movie <laughs> um so while they were checking out the factory the daughter starts wandering around and she comes across a like bookshelf of the Dolly Deer stalls um, her father lets her pick one out so she picks one and takes it home uh, I would say kind of immediately the mother starts noticing like her daughter acting a little funny um, she just kind of like shocks it all to like the move um, the housekeeper though she's like more of a religious kind of lady and she was just like something seems kind of off with this girl there's one part in the movie where a, the housekeeper brings a priest to bless the house and the little girl like starts freaking the fuck out. Going nuts. Kind of like from The Omen when I when he like they're about to go to church and that little boy starts going nuts on like his mom and like scratching her and all that. Um, so kind of like that. <laughs> the housekeeper like looks at the little girl the little girl looks at her and gives her like a mean mug look <laughs> so the housekeeper's like like I don't know what's going on like you wouldn't think a child would act that way you know towards like just a priest being there but I mean I can understand why <laughs> the child would be afraid of the priest I guess if you know you know anyways <laughs> um, so I guess the person who opened the uh, the tomb died in the beginning he died and his friend Carl Resnick who's played by Rip Torn um, finds out and he decides I'm going to travel there and check it out check out this tomb and see what it is because it doesn't look like a Maya tomb he was like this looks different these markings look don't look like what it should be so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go check it out <laughs> so back at home uh, the you start like kind of right away you see the doll kind of like moving its head um it's funny the dolly's name is dolly so we'll just call her dolly because that's what she's called um you kind of see her moving you start hearing like little footsteps and the mother is kind of like thinking it's her daughter um but you do see the doll in the background so you're just like oh oh that doll's alive like okay like they you can tell you find out the doll's alive a lot sooner than you do with other like uh child's play and stuff like that all right so you know the doll's alive the little girl is becoming more and more attached to this doll and she's doing kind of like a reagan 
something like in the exorcist where she's drawing like these like weird creepy creatures i mean not creatures but like animals with like wings and serpents and like just kind of scary stuff that the mom's kind of like where the heck did you see this from like is this what do you what and the lord goes like yeah dolly showed showed me them or whatever you know during the movie you realize like the doll is trying to I guess slowly possess the little girl um I, from what I get it's them trying to possess the little girl into the Satan child because I think the other dollies are the Sanzia if that makes sense so it so I'm assuming that's kind of what it was anyways so slowly possessing the child which I, th I like that um I mean kind of a slow possession a slow possession that's okay I ain't mad you know in the exorcist book um the possession of Rayan was kind of slow it wasn't like immediate so I think it took you know a couple months to fully manifest it's a lot different than the movie which of course because they they have to speed it up you know i do suggest to you if you haven't read the exorcist you do because it's 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 really good i listened to it two maybe three times already and it just keeps getting better every time i hear it <laughs> um, so yeah there's a part where uh the the housekeeper i don't want to say me the housekeeper um you know she's picking up after they eat lunch and stuff and the little girl's just like mad dogging her and pushes the housekeeper's tray and the mom's like and, and oh after she did that she says like some weird thing um which i don't know what it means but it's like some foreign language and you know the the housekeeper's like what did she just say? Like, that's like Sanzia language. <laughs> the mom is just like, what are you doing? Like to her daughter, like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Then <laughs> the little girl runs away. Um, so she goes and gets her daughter and is like, yo, you need to like apologize. You need to apologize. And so she does, but you know, it's, not sincere or nothing so the housekeeper has a sister who is a nun and she talked to her and she's like i'm leaving this house like there's some there's some evil shit going on here i need to get out of here you know like i i, I got to go <laughs> so she's gonna leave um it doesn't say when but anyway so later on that night the parents go out to dinner and the housekeeper um i don't know if i ever said her name i think it's uh camilla camilla something like that um she's babysitting the kids at one point the little girl's in bed and you see the dolly run out the door and the little girl's like dolly where are you where are you she's like looking all around her um the little girl goes and sees and she hears the dolly call her like jessica come here let's play it's like really creepy and great <laughs> so the little girl goes outside but she's stopped by um the housekeeper camilla and she's like oh, i can't go can't go play um which i know i totally did not mention that there is this bomb ass um, playhouse in the backyard that looks like a little cottage it's so cute um so back to what i was saying <laughs> so the housekeeper stops a little girl um from going in the dollhouse as they're trying to get back into the actual house um the door's locked i wonder who locked it i gave you one guess it was dolly <laughs> <laughs> so uh camilla is like 
Jessica, you wait right here. I'm gonna, you know, try to get get inside the house. So I guess the only way she found in was through like a basement or a cellar or whatever. Um, so she goes in there trying to get in the house and um, she gets attacked by Dolly. <laughs> And Dolly kills her by throwing it. I don't know why there's like this, like, I don't want to say it was like a pool of water, but it was like, I don't know, like a big container of water for some reason. And Dolly pushes her in there and throws in like these weird looks like string lights or something. I, I don't know. It was a little like, okay. Um, so kills her. She's dead. Um, Dolly ends up back into the cool playhouse and calls the little girl like, come on, come on, come on, come back and play. But it's not so like enthusiastic. It's more like, Jessica, come play. <laughs> and the little girl goes in and closes the door and cut back to, um, and then it cuts into the parents returning home. They're like, oh, the electricity's out. What's going on? The father's like, I'll go check it out. The mother's checking on her son, trying to check on her daughter. And they're like, where is she? Where's Jessica? We can't find her. Let's look all over for her. Nope, not in this room, not in that room, not in, you know, can't find her. Um, then the mother realized like, like she must be in the playhouse. It's dark, it's rainy, stormy, all this. Like, let me hurry up. Oh, well, the dad is investigating, like, let me check the circuit breaker. I'm assuming, yeah, like the circuit breaker, whatever. And eventually comes across the housekeeper, dead. While that happens, it cuts to the little girl outside, and she looks like shit. She looks like she's, like, something ain't right. Jessica, come play. Something ain't right. I'm assuming that she got like fully possessed i think like the next day or so jessica's in the dollhouse or playhouse sorry playhouse with her dolly and and the mom's like creeping up and they're like like i hear another voice like what is going on like you know tries to open the door the door's locked and she's like jessica let me in who are you talking? Let me in. The door opens and the mother's just like, checks the back of the door, like the handle and notices like, there's no lock. And she's just like, I tripping? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Um, and then she sees her, do her daughter and she looks like, she looks different. And she's like, I guess she did something to her hair. And the mother's like, what did you do to your hair? And the little girl's like, what don't you like it looks just like dolly well the mom's getting pissed as any mo i would be pissed at my kids like who are you talking to who do you think you're talking to like that and anyway, she looks at her doll and she like totally changes her attitude and she's just like i'm sorry mommy i love you blah 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 and the mom eats that shit up uh <laughs> but you know the mom's still like what is going on you know so she decides to talk to the housekeeper sister who was a nun and she warns her about the sandia and Sandia's satan child. child all that well the archaeologist resnick f opens up the sarcophagus and sees the you know the satan child um skeleton so he's like oh shit what's going on like whoa this is it you know so the mom gets back home she sees her son is like scared as shit and he's telling her like mom the doll's alive it moves like it's talking and walking the mom sees the doll talk and move and stuff it attacks the mom it attacks the boy um, the little girl attacks, uh, the mom gets a shotgun, and the son blows the doll away, which, um, I guess the hole they had over Jessica, the daughter, stops, and yeah, she's all better, she's like, you know, mommy, mommy, you know, um, kind of like an exorcist, 
when the demon left Reagan, when Pazuzu left Reagan, she's just like, mother, you know, kind of like that, but not so dramatic. So they're like, whoa, we need to go get your father. He's at the factory. Soon the father finds out that <laughs> there's a bunch of alive dolls trying to kill him. <laughs> they arrive there. Um, with Res like they meet up with Resnick and the father and they're like we need to we need to destroy them so they get a bunch of dynamite and try to set it up blow up the the building with all these dolls that are trying to you know bring back the Satan child or you know the and, yeah. um, as they're trying to light the dynamite to make it explode <laughs> the dolls you see them all like Coin water or snipping the the what do you call it the dynamite string thingy and you know just stomping it out but eventually um the tnt goes off exploding the building um once the building explodes kills all the dolls you see like the evil spirits kind of woo away um and then yeah that's kind of basically how the movie ends <laughs> um but yeah i think i love it i really enjoyed it i watched it as a young child with um my older cousin when she would babysit uh our thing was my parents would go out order us pizza and we would always stop at blockbuster or hollywood video um back in the day <laughs> Um, and, and pick out movies and we always you know went to horror movies because they're you know the best ever so that's kind of how well you know I feel like I've always been a, like into horror movies since a very young child I would say maybe four-ish or so um, you know Freddy Krueger you know just, just I just always been into that shit still am um, I like watch, my cousin always told me like never judge a cover of a movie, you know, never judge, just never judge a movie by its cover, there I can say it. <laughs> um, and I still remember that and try to go by that. A lot of, it's hard now because a lot of these movies that come out suck. Like I, I don't like them. I don't, mm -mm. It's hard for me to find a movie I appreciate that's new. Um, but yeah, so I watch a lot of like old horror movies as opposed to new ones. I watch some new ones and usually 99% uh, of the time I'm disappointed. But I mean, that's okay. Alright, so... My camera wants to give me a lot of trouble making this video. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so, I put on some lashes. I need to put some mascara on. Uh, and, yeah. Um, hopefully, you like this video. Um, if you did, give it a like. Thumbs up. Whatever you do. You can follow me at the Sarah Graham on Instagram. I don't do any Snapchat or tiktok i don't do any of that um because one i'm old and two i don't know how and three my children will be <sighs> talking shit like oh you're old what are you doing oh you're stupid you know so i don't even bother and i honestly don't even care <laughs> about having one of those um yeah if you guys have any suggestions on movies i should watch and review go ahead and write um Put them in the comment box. Comment down. Let me know. And I'll do my best um, to try to find it and watch it. Because, you know, I like watching. I would prefer it to be older stuff. Not like, oh, super, super old. But, I mean, nothing common or new, I should say. Um, you know, like... I don't want to do mainstream stuff because we all know what happened in, you know, Friday the 13th. We all know what happens in Child's Play, the Freddies, you know, like, we all know. I want to review stuff that kind of underground, 
maybe it's a cult classic and you know I don't I haven't heard maybe I probably own it because I own hundreds and hundreds of horror DVDs and it's going to keep growing because I love them so much but I don't know like I said if you know of a movie and you know want me to talk about it let me know also I'm going to be doing uh, some haul videos and I cannot wait till June when I start Halloween decor hunting so I'm going to be vlogging all that um, this year which I'm so excited about I know I'm not good with talking and trying to do my lipstick so I'm not gonna look the best but whatever um, I'm an amateur video creator so I don't know I don't know. Hopefully you won't judge this video too harshly, but if you do, I don't fucking care. <laughs> so with that, <laughs> thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it and it means the world to me if you would subscribe and make my little black gold heart so happy. Alright, you guys take care.